Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another interactive feel video. Somebody suggested doing this, and it worked. We were talking about you can't rotate the fish scales. No matter what you do, they stay at that position. Well, I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of the yellow box. And I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to export it as a PDF. I'm going to call it Fish 2. Because I just did it. Now I'm going to see you a little further. I'm going to export it, say OK. And now we're going to get rid of this. So we've got a blank screen. I'm going to go to File, Import, Fish 2. And I'm going to tell it I want to import it as curves. And voila. Now it's still a vector looking graphic. And we can rotate it and the scales rotate. Now my other question and still is what I've been thinking about it is it wouldn't be good for a laser engraver because of the fact that it's got a white background. But now that it's a file, we might be able to go to object group. It's still not a it's still a individual objects. So we can try this now. Let's go to edit. Find and replace, properties, edit query, fountain or uniform fill, double click on that, get the eyedropper tool, and sorry about that, I want to move this over so we can get to that. Get the eyedropper tool and grab that gray, it's actually a gray, and said okay, okay, find all and hit delete. Look at that, problem solved. And now you could, one, you could get rid of this outline if you didn't need it. But two, you could group this together, control G and rotate it. I actually made a copy of it, but now you can rotate it the way the scales need to be. That's great. I thank that viewer for giving me that little tip. Hope that worked, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.